It's our job to be ready for anything. But something so strange, so unthinkable. How can we be ready for that? And it could be just the tip of the iceberg. And the parasite isn't alone. We're in uncharted territory now, facing something we know almost nothing about. Something that could destroy every living thing on the planet. Literally. React's not gonna let that happen. But to stop it, we have to understand it first. Knowledge is power. We're going to learn everything we can about the parasite. It's got a weakness somewhere. Let's get to work. Menu narration English, on. Menu subtitle language, spoken language, English. Menu narration English, on. Off. Menu subtitle language, spoken language, na Sure looks cool. Cool. This is bleeding edge VR combat training. No one's encountered anything like La Zona Caliente. If our people are going to collect critical data on the parasite, they need the best training possible. Hold on. You did not get to the extraction point in time. In the real hot zone, you will now be encased in stasis form, waiting for someone to rescue you. Another good thing about VR? No stasis phone to dissolve when it's over. Like I said, cool. When do I get a try? Um, maybe after lunch. Two days from now. Next!
I refuse to believe that we're only delaying the inevitable. The job may not be pleasant, but saving lives is what I do. All react departments enact incursion protocols for the safety of our personnel. Concentrated areas of parasite activity are called hot zones. Reactors contain the area within three subzones separated by airlocks. Operators are deployed to the safest area to complete objectives and gather intel. Parasite activity increases after each airlock in line with React's directive to limit threat propagation. Operators can exfil at any time at the available extraction point to report new intel to R&D. However, the further you go on an incursion, the better the intel. The parasite ecosystem is sensitive to intrusions. At a certain threshold, it unleashes a massive Archean attack to eliminate the threat. The safety protocol is in effect when it's too risky to send for an extraction platform. Exfil before it's too late. Operators who fail to exfil or are left behind for any reason are considered MIA. A stasis device is activated on MIAs to protect them from the parasite. The next squad deployed to the same hot zone can attempt a rescue. React will do what it takes to bring our people home. You have one target to take down with your React Blade. A sample will be collected at the same time. Use your React Drone to locate your target. <laughs> Oh, he's going up. You're getting close to the target.
Exploration leads to discoveries and you haven't found any yet. Keep looking before going to the next area because you won't be able to come back. like DNA libraries, organic factories, and boom, all rolled into one. Nasty, but very cool. Airlock sequence, subzone transition in effect. Stay in the airlock. like DNA libraries, organic factories, and boom, all rolled into one. Nasty, but very cool. React scientists can use airlock labs like this one to acquire key data. Most of them leave as quickly as they came in. That's your target. Good. Now that's the way to use the React Blade. Remember to keep it close at hand. You can now move to the airlock. Sequence, 
Subzone transition in effect. Stay in the airlock. This subzone is a training module on the Parasite ecosystem. On occasion, we need you to plan auto trackers on nests so we can monitor them. Locate some nests. That's the nest. If it's dormant, plant an auto tracker. Parasite ecosystem. You can head to extraction or continue to the next subject. The choice is up to you. Stay close or you'll miss your ride back to base. That was a good run. Do that in a real incursion and we'll contain the Archives like nobody's business. 